Let's speak Korean. <목소리> 제 1회 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'll be your host, Lisa Kelly. And if you love Korea, its people, and its culture, if you are interested in mastering its language, then this is the place for you. With just 10 minutes a day, I'm sure you'll be very satisfied with your results. And I assure you, it will be very fun. And of course, it can't be as fun without this man next to me. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Lisa. 안녕하세요. Everybody, thank you for joining us for Let's Speak Korean, new and improved. Let me tell you, I'm not going to lie to you, Korean is a challenge. It's a big challenge, but all the time that you invest, you will reap 10 times the rewards and benefits. This country is absolutely wonderful to people who put in the effort to learn the language. You will love every minute of it. They just... I hear it all the time, oh, you're such a good Korean speaker. I mean, I say, 안녕하세요. I say hello, and they say, oh, you're such a good Korean speaker. Trust me, they love it when people take the time to put in the effort and learn Korean. That's right. And Koreans are very appreciative people, but I don't appreciate what you said just now. He just said how difficult the Korean language was, and it's not, right? It's not. And actually, we have two students here in the studio. <laughs> you must be a better student than I am, because <laughs> I've been going crazy for eight years well, trying now, to learn this we're language. We're always learners. We're always students, so Good. I am always learning as well. Good. And there's also two other people in the studio who are learning with you, and I like to call them your confidence boosters, okay? <laughs> we have Miriam and Jason. Say hello. Hello everybody. My name is Miriam. I'm from Italy and I came to Korea to learn a new language and a new culture and I really hope this show will help me learning some more Korean. Great. Hi Jason. And? <laughs> hello everybody. My name is Jason. I'm from America and I really like Korea but I don't speak much Korean at all so <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's what you're here for. That's what you're here for. Honestly, We're going to help you with that. Our friends are a little mm -hmm. bit nervous because it is their first time and we are going to be tackling a whole lot of mm -hmm. new language here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, 안녕하세요, Stephen, she? Yes, 안녕하세요. We already, we already said hello. Why, why are you doing this again? Uh-huh. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. You don't get ah. it. Okay. Today's expression <laughs> is 안녕하세요. Well, when you meet someone in the mm -hmm. Korean culture, mm -hmm. whether it be your mother, father, sister, brother, I mean, or if it's girlfriend and boyfriend or someone at work, the first thing you say is 안녕하세요, right? Yes. You're going to say hello, and that's what our dialogue is today. That's right. And since it is such an essential expression, we're going to cover it in today's first corner. Let's do it. Let's do it. 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 저는 리사입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 스티븐입니다. I'm sure you've come across 안녕하세요 in the Korean language, but I'm sure there's also other expressions like for example in English uh, hello, thank you, goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these are just obvious expressions that you're going to pick up. What are some of the expressions that you already know, Miriam? Well, of course, as you were saying, the first one was 안녕하세요 mm -hmm. and uh, 감사합니다. And, but I know this other one, uh -huh. bali bali. Uh, bali bali. <sighs> okay, <laughs> hurry, hurry. Okay. Okay. This I, is I a got total that wrong. Korean culture uh, tip. Mm -hmm. Everyone here is in a rush to do everything and get everywhere a little mm -hmm. bit faster than everyone else. It's such a crowded city, and I think that's the reason why. Yeah, why? Well, I, I, yeah, I'm sure that has something to do mm -hmm. with it, but. Uh, Koreans seem to be specifically in a little bit more of a hurry than, <laughs> than other, many other cultures I've run into. True, true. And you will hear this all the time. And don't say bali bali. It has to have a little strong emphasis in it. Mm. Bali, bali. Okay? Right. And don't think Koreans are rude when they are in a rush and saying bali bali. It's, like I said, it's part of the culture. Jason, what's the first expression that you learned? Actually, I think the first thing I learned was something like Pop. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, pop means rice or food, but I've got a funny thing. Uh, me and my foreign friends, we always say, um, have you seen any Bob? Or where's Bob <laughs> when you're hungry? <laughs> 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 but I, I have a little story. My, okay. uh, 
second word, my first word in Korean was 안녕하세요. That was my first word. Mm -hmm. And then that was followed up with, I, I was in America still, and mm -hmm. I said to one of my Korean-American buddies, I said, I want to know that, and I want to know bathroom. That was the, <laughs> the, the second word I learned was bathroom, because I, you know, just in case there was an emergency, as soon as I landed in Korea, I wanted to know 화장실, you know, <laughs> right. just so I could find it. Just for those emergencies. It is. Anyways, today's expression is, of course, 안녕하세요. But when you meet someone, you want to say, it's a pleasure to meet you, or it's because it's my first time to meet you, would be the literal translation. So let's cover that. It's 처음 뵙겠습니다. 처음 뵙겠습니다. Do you want to try it out? Okay. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 처음 뵙겠습니다. Yeah, Miriam, you want to you wanna get 뵙겠습니다, okay. not that is hard. Is it hard? <laughs> there you go. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. Blah. Right. Yeah. And then you want to introduce yourself. You want to say, hello, nice to meet you. And then you usually say, I'm Lisa, right? Mm -hmm. So, 저는 Lisa입니다. Oh. 저는 it would be, I am mm -hmm. Imida. 저는 Miriam입니다. <laughs> 저는 Jason입니다. Good, good. And then you could just respond by saying, oh, hello, back to them. 안녕하세요. 저는 so-and-so입니다. I just, I have one question. Mm -hmm. Like, when we say hello, should we always bow or what is the rules about that? Right, well, mm -hmm. in we Asian wait? cultures, you see lots of people bowing forward. And in Korea, yes, it is honorific and, and respectful to the person okay. you're speaking to if you do make a slight bow. I still make the mistake of, I'm so used to saying, hey, what's up, hi. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I do this sometimes. I bow and do the wave mm -hmm. at the same time. And I catch myself <laughs> and I'm like, bow. <laughs> so, yeah, make so a slight bow. So you kind of go like, 안녕하세요, right? Well, after you get to know a friend who's your colleague or someone that's similar mm. to, in age to you, you can start waving to them. But when you're first meeting someone or if it's someone that you need to be respecting, you want to make that slight bow. Okay. okay, let's go take a look at what we've learned today and actually learn a few more expressions through Wrap It Up. Wrap It Up with Lisa and Steven. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 리사입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 스티븐이라고 합니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. Okay, we got to review over what we studied today, and we met a new expression at the end there. If you were listening carefully, we heard 만나서 반갑습니다. Mm. 만나서 means to meet someone, and 반갑습니다 means I'm really happy to. Right, Stephen? Yes, translates to nice to meet you. Pretty easy. Mana so. Mana da. Mana, that is to meet. And then so is because, kind of. Nice to meet you at the end. Pangapta, you're happy to see something. Oh, pangawayo, pangapsunida. Nice to see you. Mana so, pangapsunida. Okay, let's try out what we learned today because these are definitely essential expressions when you first meet someone. And next time, I expect you to say this to our audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, when oh, you first introduce try. yourself. We'll so let's, let's go for it. Know. Okay, 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 저는 리사입니다. 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 저는 미리암입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 제이슨입니다. 아, 만나서 반갑습니다. Great. Okay, stop laughing because, you know what, I totally understand what's going on. It's really hard to switch off from Korean to English or English mm. to Korean because when you're, when you're at that, that divvy point mm. where you're supposed to switch off, you, it's kind of your tongue gets twisted and coiled in there. So it's okay. With a little more practice, and like I said, I'm expecting this perfect and tuned up for next time. I'm going to go out and find a Korean after this. Okay, I'm good. Gonna try good. Well, thank you for joining us, and please come back and join us next time here at Let's Be Korean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>